Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to create your own custom Telegram AI powered chatbot for your businesses or your own use. First of all, we will have to create our actual Telegram bot from the Telegram side. So first of all, you will have to download Telegram on your PC and then you can follow the documentations here. So it's really simple. All you have to do is I will leave you, of course, the link for this documentation in the description. Just scroll down a bit and then click on this bot father here. What this will do is it will open Telegram on your PC and then add automatically a contact called the bot father, which is this one here and with which you will be able to create your bot. It will start like this. You will have to send the slash star command. It will give you all the available commands that you can use. And according to the documentation, all we have to do is enter the slash new bot command. This one will trigger the creation of a new bot. I sent it as you can see here slash new bot. It asked for a name for my bot. I gave it the name straight to point here and then it asked for username to the bot keep in mind here your username needs to end with bot at the end so either like this or like this so i gave it straight to point bot and then of course it created the bot for me as you can see here it gave me the link when i click this i will be able to start the conversation with the bot i created and then of course down here under this line it gave me the actual api key that i will be using inside n8n so yeah, let's go back to N8N and let's start exploring our workflow. This is a simple workflow, basically the simplest way to create your Telegram bot. So we will start with the on message Telegram trigger. To include this, just right click, click on add node, look for Telegram, open it here and then under triggers, you will find this on message trigger. Just open it here. The only thing that you have to do here is select this, go to create new credential, and then you will have to paste in the API key that you got from the bot father here, which is under this line. Just copy and paste it and then click on save. Of course, you will be able to connect to your Telegram bot like that. Keep this trigger on to message and then leave it. Of course, first in Telegram, just click on this link here. It will open a new chat with your Telegram bot. So send the slash star command here and then you can go ahead and test your bot just click on test step and send any message in your telegram bot here let me show you let me disconnect this one first and then go here select test step as you can see it's listening now so i go to telegram and send hi and as you can see i got the node executed successfully and the text to hi so it received my message we will be using this with the next node so we are going to give ai capabilities to our bot so we will be using the ai agent right click click on add node under AI here, include AI agent. Of course, we will have to set up our AI agent here. For the user prompt, select the define below and then drag and drop the user message that you got on Telegram. So this one, the text here, put it there. And then click on add option and then add a system message. You can give it a simple system message. So the use case of my bot, it will be an assistant that tells the clothing stock information to my user. So I'm a, I'm a clothing brand apparently. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with it. Now we will have to configure the actual LLM that we're going to use with our AI agent. So in the bottom left here, click on add uh, chat model. It will give you a list of providers. You can select from OpenAI, Mistral, Grok, etc. I went with the Google Gemini chat model of course here we'll have to set up our credential by including the api key that we got from google ai studio and then we will select the model that we'll be using for my case i'm using gemini 2.0 flash once we have done that we will be configuring a memory for our bot so it will not be a ping pong conversation it will actually know the whole context of your chat so click on add memory and then from here select simple memory for my case i went with the simplest way for the session id click on define below and here drag and drop from the previous trigger the id that we got of the user so for the key drag and drop the id there and then for the context window length select how many messages you want to include in your memory all right and now as we said that you are going to provide information about our clothing stock we will need a tool that will be able to communicate with our stock database so for my case i created a simple google sheet document here containing the product name type price and stock as you can see here i filled it with two dummy examples and then we will go back to n8n click on add tool look for sheet it will give you the google sheets tool of course we'll have to configure it now 
So include your credential for this. Of course, create new credential and then sign in with your Google account. Once you have done that, keep the tool description to set manually. Give a description to your tool so the model knows when to use it. I gave it retrieves information about straight to points clothing stock. For the resource sheet within document, operation get rows. For the document, select from list and then look for the actual uh, sheet document that you want to use. For my case, it's store, as you can see here. And then for the sheet, I have two sheet. I have actually three sheets here. So I went with the all clothes one. And then all the rest will be good to go. Save your work. And then we'll be moving on to the third node, which will be basically sending the chat or the uh, user in the Telegram chat that we are typing, telling it that our bot is currently typing. So for this, right click, click on add node, look for Telegram again, and then select any of these. You can select whatever. I went with the send a text message. So it will give you something like this. It will not be like this. So you have to configure it, of course. Include your credential for the resource. Change this from whatever it was to message. For the operation, change this to whatever it was again to send chat action. And then include the chat ID. So you'll have to execute the previous node for this run the trigger for the chat id select the id under chat here from the response of the trigger and then drag it and drop it here and then for the action select typing for this we will be using the send message node from telegram so again right click click on add node look for telegram go to telegram here and then scroll down a bit and then look for the send the text message include it here so it will give you something like this set up your credential for the telegram account for the resource message for the operation send message and then for the chat id of course you will have to drag and drop the chat id again from the telegram trigger drag it and drop it and then for the text will be selecting the output of the ai agent so to send it directly back to the user so drag it and drop it here and just like that we are done we can test our workflow right now so click on test workflow as you can see it's waiting for a trigger event let's go to our bot let's ask it now what do you have in stock and then send the message. We should go back to N8N. As you can see, it's executing. It used the tool that we gave it, the Google Sheet tool. And then it sent us the message. As you can see here, we got the available products we have in our stock. So as you can see here, blue jeans, Air Force One. If we go back to our sheet, as you can see, it is correct. So now let's just test the uh, memory. So let's say again, please. Now, if we didn't have a memory, it will not know what we're talking about when we say again, please. But for now, it will know because we have memory. Actually, it will know that we are asking about the stocks again. So send again, please. Oh, uh, it will not work now. Let me actually activate the test workflow again. As you can see, we received the message. We can see the trigger. It has been triggered with the again, please message. And yeah, of course, if you don't want to, what happened to me to happen to you, of course, you will have to turn this inactive to active. And then just like that, when you send a message now, you will get an answer. So what is the price of the blue jeans? And just like that, we got an answer. So yeah, guys, this has been it. Of course, this is just a simple workflow. The sky is the limit with the rest. You can customize it, use it to whatever you want, include new features to it. I gave you the basics. And of course, you can customize it even more for your own use case. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.